there are three random variables x y and z correlation between x and y is 0 0.8 and correlation between y and z sorry x and z is 0 0.8 what's the maximum and minimum correlation between y and z we know that the sample correlation matrix is always positive semi-definite and there are a number of different conditions which tell us when exactly is a matrix positive semi-definite some of these conditions are listed here a matrix is positive definite if it's symmetric and all of its eigenvalues are positive if the quadratic form x transpose ax is greater than equal to zero for all vectors x if the matrix can be written as r transpose r for some matrix r with independent columns and if it's symmetric all of its pivots are positive but let's try to solve uh, one of these conditions from scratch and see why exactly this holds true consider the data matrix r x is an n by p matrix we have n observations and p variables so each of x i is an n by one vector we normalize x by subtracting the mean and dividing by the standard deviations so for each of x i we take the mean which is mu i and the standard deviation sigma i and we subtract the mean and divide by the standard deviation to get the new matrix w which is the normalized form of the matrix x now that we have the normalized uh, matrix w we can find the correlation matrix as w transpose w divided by n minus 1 now consider any p by 1 vector z we calculate the quadratic form z transpose cz and we can solve this to write it in terms of the matrix w as wz transpose times wz now w is n by p and z is p by 1 so this would be 1 by n vector and this would be n by 1 vector so this is an inner product of these two vectors which will give us the sum of squares and sum of squares will always be greater than or equal to 0 so the quadratic form of matrix c is always greater than or equal to 0 so we know that this sample correlation matrix will always be positive semi-definite let's recap what we have done here and also add some important useful points given a matrix x with variables as columns and rows as data points if we standardize columns of a that is subtract the column mean and divide by standard deviation then a transpose a divided by n minus 1 is the Pearson correlation matrix if we center the columns of a then a transpose a is the scatter matrix and a transpose a divided by n minus 1 is the covariance matrix if we unit scale the columns of a then a transpose a is the cosine similarity matrix if we center and then unit scales of columns of a then a transpose a is again the correlation matrix so these are some useful pointers which can be helpful in a number of different problems coming back to a problem we are given that correlation between x and y is 0 0.8 correlation between x and z is 0 0.8 and we have to find what's the maximum correlation between y and z and minimum correlation between y and z let's assume the correlation between y and z is r so the correlation matrix can be written like this we have the correlation between x and y is 0 0.8 x and z 0 0.8 and the correlation between y and z we have assumed r now we know that the correlation matrix is positive semi-definite and one of the properties of a positive semi-definite matrix is that the determinant is greater than or equal to 0 so we'll use this property to find the range of r solving for the determinant of the matrix C we get R minus 1 times R minus 0 0.28 this is greater than or equal to 0 and this gives us the range of the correlation R between 0 0.28 and 1 so this is the 
final answer to the problem.